What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA with Complex cover star, Logic. What's up, dog? Ugly. No, you weren't a Disgusting. fan of that. Disgusting. No way. Why would you wear this? Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Maybe. Let's go. Logic, your song, Welcome to Forever, you rapped that at 22 was the first time you got a pair of Jordans. Yeah. Do you remember what they were? They were fives. Well, technically, they weren't fives, bro. So my homie at the time, he was my DJ. His name was DJ Boss Player. And one of the things he got me was the Team Jordans. Oh, So it wasn't even okay. like the Jordans. And right. we were at Georgetown in DC. But the first time I actually bought my own pair, it was a pair of fives. And they were gray. I think they were called the Wolf Grays, right? Oh, Wolf Gray, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I just liked how they looked and how they felt. And I saw a lot of other people getting Jordans. And I guess it's almost like a, it's like a rap thing, right? Because I even had chains back then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> but I went to the, so I would go to the mall and buy chains for like $100 because everybody would just assume they're real. Right. You know, because why the f would you go? Some rappers still do that. Which is fine. Mm -hmm. There's no problem with that. But I was like, yeah, whatever. But then again, I was also only wearing chains and Jordans and all these things because I wanted other people to think I was cool, which is bullshit because who cares about what other people think because all that matters is that you should accept yourself. Right. However, the first pair of real, real Jordans that I was given, it was uh, infrared sixes, okay. OGs. Right yeah. here. Where are they? Right Boom, here. right here, yeah. And it was the OG ones. And um, it was really special. I got they, uh, A buddy of mine, he gave them to me in black and in white. Okay. And I probably wore them for like two years. And the crazy thing is the white ones I still have. They're in my, they're in my closet right now. Logic, you're from DC. A DC-centric shoe, the foam posit. Ugly. No, you weren't a Disgusting. fan of that. Disgusting. No way. Why would you wear this? You look like, you know what? If maybe if I was on the Titanic and I needed to like stay afloat, I would wear these. Going back to your family, seven brothers and sisters, was any of them really into sneakers? Yeah, I think my, my definitely my brothers, they, they loved sneakers. But once again, like we were all hella broke. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, it wasn't really like, you know what, here's a really fun story. When I was in ninth grade, and this was a time where I was actually, it was just me and my mother at this time. So it was just us, none of my brothers and sisters were around, my dad wasn't there. And uh, my friend Mike, his name is Mike Wilkerson, had a pair of 13s. Okay. So they just, they were super dope. Uh, the colorway was awesome, and I'll never forget, I went into, uh, he left them at my house by accident, and I wore them to the school, and he was so pissed off huh. at me. So that was like the closest thing I ever had to like an older brother being mad for wearing their mm -hmm. but, um, but the girls loved it. I read that you're not really into material things. This section of Flight Club is where the most expensive sneakers are. Nice. When do you, would you ever spend thousands of dollars on sneakers? Do you think it's crazy? Where Where's your limit? No, I'll definitely spend money for sure, like on sneakers if I really love it and enjoy it. But the thing about me is I'm gonna mess, I'm gonna fuck them up, mm -hmm. like without question. I'm gonna get them dirty, I'm gonna rock them, I'm gonna wear them every day all the time. So that's why it's like, for me, it's like, a, if, if I purchase something, it's gonna become a part of my everyday life that I'm really gonna appreciate and enjoy and use. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. like put them on and then like, you know, take the toothbrush to them every second I get, right. I'm gonna really enjoy them. So that's why, you know, I'm looking at a lot of these joints like, man, it's crazy. Even over here, not to be all in your space, but these, yeah. you know, the, the crazy thing about these Yeezys is I have a friend and he actually hooked me up with a free pair of those. Nice. Yeah, so they're just at my, my crib. So have you wore these yet? And would you mess even up the Yeezys? No, I no? think they're ugly, but, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Once mm -hmm. again, it's all subjective. But since they were a gift, I'm gonna cherish them. You know, cool. I'm gonna really appreciate them. But I'm not, and it has nothing to do with that Yeezys are ugly. I'm not a running shoe guy. Okay. That's the only thing. I'm just not, I just like high top sneakers. How do you feel about new collabs? Like, you know, I saw you were eyeing yeah. these Supreme this Scotty is tight. Pippins. I never, uh, I didn't even know this existed. And I just like the color wave so much that I think I'm, I'm gonna mess with these for sure. Cause this is like super cool. You're wearing SBs. Let's go to the SB wall. Talk about all the different iterations of those. All right, cool. Logic, you're wearing the Chicken and Waffles SBs. Yes. You wear the Cherry Blossom SBs a lot. Totally, I'm gonna buy another pair of those today. The reason why Dunks and, and SBs just for me were crazy is because I skate. Okay. I literally just built a half pipe in my backyard. Wow. I love to skateboard. My mom homeschooled me, and okay. she homeschooled me from fifth grade to eighth grade, except she didn't homeschool me. She drank and slept all day, and, and so I went outside and skateboarded for three years, and it's all I did, all I did. Wow. 
And then soon the government was like, you have to enroll your son back in school or we're gonna take him away. And I don't know how I did, but they put me back in eighth grade and then I passed eighth grade with a fifth grade education and somehow it all wow. came together. Yeah, it's really wild. However, I got some kick-ass kickflips out of it. Nice, so we see all these cherry blossoms, Tiffany dunks, which are like one of the, the biggest. These are thrills. crazy. These are the actually furry, like, yeah. I feel like they're so crazy that I would wear these. You would. Because they're so like in your face and they're furry. Cause like, what? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like that's one of those things. And the people are like, damn, you know what I mean? His, his so even though alive. you said you like to keep it basic, sometimes you would wear like outrageous stuff. Yeah, for fun, if I liked it. I'm not hating on fashion and mm -hmm. I'm not hating on people's choice of whatever they want to do because I get it. Like, you know, when I see like, ASAP and mm -hmm. Travis and all these different people like all extra styled out. I'm like, that's right. I yeah. could never do that, but that's epic. We've said it, you know, we can look at all the comments on YouTube. You're one of the most requested guests on the show. I can't believe that. It sounds, it sounds like a cliche question, but what do you think it is that connects with the kids so much? About myself? Yeah. I don't know, I'm just like honest. You know, I think I think you can smell when somebody's like not authentic mm -hmm. and I'm happy to be in my skin. I'm happy with who I am. And it took a long journey to be there, a long journey. You know, uh, there was uh, many years of my life where I didn't even accept myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who I was. And now that I'm, you know, in my later 20s, I'm really I'm really realizing who I am. I'm happy with the man that I see in the mirror. I'm just myself, man. I ain't trying yeah. to impress nobody. And I'm here and I'm being awkward and funny because like, that's me. And if people like that, then they like it. And if they don't, them. So Logic, kept it fully real. Now's the easy part. You get to browse the shelves, see what you're feeling. Nice. All right, swag, turn up. So I w I'd like to try these, if possible. Do you guys have any in stock? Yo, perfect. They fit. This is tight. I'm gonna be real. Let me just say this right now. I never buy shoes, yeah. and I saw those when I walked in, and I was like, yo, it'd be so cool if I could have these shoes, and now I got them. I think my wife will like these. I think she'll like it very much if all I was wearing is these, you know? Hey! <laughs> okay. we'll get Your total comes out to be a 17.40 Nice, thanks, Dami. Appreciate that. Thank you, Dami. So, Logic came through. Congrats on the number one album. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming through. Everybody, available everywhere right now. If you're not first, you're last, Ricky Bobby.